The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am, for all the good it does. The boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hamish won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, he talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. Why to the baths? Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here any time you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was in love with her. How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the evening. In the evening, fun. What'd you say? Will you join me? But what about your wounds, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come and join you there. About our hunt. All right, all right, I admit it. Trying to kill a ball with a bow and arrow wasn't the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> it was a nice shot, though. You're a cape on. You're a cape on. Here I am, sir. I said in the evening, Henry. That means when the sun goes down. Sir? Yes, what is it? It's me, sir, Henry. Look here, Henry, I'm, um, right in the middle of something. Come back after dark. No. Here I am, sir. I said in the evening, Henry. That means when the sun goes down. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favour, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. You'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite, but maybe you can do better. Right then, you've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his arse on show. All right, why the hell not? How about a game of dice then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? <laughs> Let's see how good you are. Why did you... Jesus, I can't bear to watch. You haven't exactly gone off to a good start, have you? It's her we want to strip, not you. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. Uh, what, what with, with you, sir? That doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I've no interest in your hairy ass. Get in the tub or I won't talk to you. Oh, all right then. That's more like it. Put your clothes in the trunk. Shift over. 
I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Yeah, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cowpats less fragrant. <laughs> 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 you certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Booze and wenches? Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? <laughs> I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very healing. You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. All right, Zena, coming up. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Oh, really, sir? Such mean words from a noble gent. Clara, my most favourite is bath maid. But bath admitted, my dear, the wine you have here is pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though where? Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat's house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hanush bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this now. Can't you just make do with the bathhouse wine? Absolutely not. I will have my silver and red from that cellar, even if it takes you a week to get it. We'll find some way of entertaining ourselves in the meantime. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good man. So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Not yet. I need a little more time. Jesus, Henry! I'm dying of thirst here! So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You what really it? broke into the cellar. You're insane. What? That was a trick. For fuck's sake, if they caught me, I'd have ended up in the stocks. If I was lucky. Nonsense! I wouldn't have let them. Oh, thank you for your concern. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Get it down, you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Silver and red. It's not like that donkey's piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Silver and red. The taste is unmistakable.
Officer Hans, I'm not like the other girls. I know, Clara. You you are are different. Mm -hmm. you, you you deserve <laughs> more. Mm. You deserve flowers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what what kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah uh -huh, well. I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh, sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, s sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> That's not right. No, no, knotweed and poppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> You, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know, I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you Scrivency Flowing Groschen. <laughs> so, that much? <laughs> All right, I'll go. <sighs> oh. Sage something? What are you doing? Roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. What the hell are you doing here? I'd like some privacy if you don't mind. You've come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! And are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> you shut your mouth, I'm not done with you! No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We can talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try arson balls. <laughs> arson balls! <laughs> For the love of God, stop it, both of you! Fucking hell. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Trying to drown a nobleman. Oh shit. Fuck. <coughs> I, I didn't know. Get out of my sight. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Phew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. And what will you do with them, Sir Hans? <laughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. What do you think I should do with him? He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. But he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. 
but we had some pretty good sports, eh? Be a bit more 